Verbal and nonverbal signs are not only relevant but also significant to intercultural communication. The breakdown of them helps to identify aspects of conversations. Here is an excellent example. Newly hired Indian and Pakistani assistants in a staff cafeteria at Heathrow Airport were often perceived as rude or uncooperative by their supervisors and the airport staff while the Indian and Pakistani women complained of discrimination. Observation revealed that intonation patterns were the primary cause. When the staff ordered meat, the cafeteria assistant was supposed to ask them whether they would like to have some gravy. Instead of saying gravy, with a rising intonation, the Asian assistants would say gravy with a falling intonation, which is their normal way of asking a question. However, this may appear rude to native speakers of English, gravy with falling intonation came across as a statement, suggesting this is gravy. Take it or leave it.